Hi everyone, I've been doing a series on NVLink and SLI with the 2080 Ti to see if we can run Call of Duty Warzone. But uh, as we've seen in the past, it's not working for Warzone in NVLink SLI. Not to say that that doesn't work, but for Warzone itself, it's not working. And as you can see up, I have an open hardware monitor that's going to monitor my um, GPU wattage right now. You can see one and two in these areas right there. And I also have Task Manager as well as Precision to monitor it. But we're going to focus on the NVIDIA control panel here. I want to make this fast under five minutes. So excuse me if I'm talking fast. Uh, and you can't understand my accent, but or as you can see, I have SLI mode enabled and I have um, my dual GPUs configured and maximized that 3D performance. But we're going to be configuring and tweaking some of the 3D settings here. Inside of NVIDIA control panel, we have a thing called SLI rendering that we can force the GPU to do one of uh, three things. We can force it single GPU usage or we can force our alternate frame rendering one and two. AFR, if you don't understand it, please go to Google and Google the NVIDIA control panel and get more information on what AFR is as well as precision and this open hardware monitor that I'm using if you want more intel. But for right now, let's check and see if we can uh, run the war zone regularly while using a dual GPU setup. Um, I'm just going to focus on seeing if it even starts up. I'm not going to go into actually playing the game because I'm going to keep it under five minutes and it's two right now. As you can see, war zone starts up. Um, and as we go and check the vitals, um, we can see that it's not particularly using both the GPUs. Only one GPU is being stressed. We can see it in precision here as well. Only one GPU, as well as the wattage right there. You see one going at 140, one going at 78 watts, one maxed out at 51% uh, core, the other at 18% core. And uh, Warzone's running at about, um, <clears throat> it says a 60 to 75 frames per second. And just so for everybody to uh, uh, double check, we are running at 4K rendering. All right, let's try to do this now with the AFR setting on. So we're going to go to the NVIDIA control panel again. SLI rendering mode, we're going to set this to AFR1. You see, AFR1, alternate frame rendering 1. This allows you to have some games to force SLI um, to work. And this goes against the NVIDIA predefined settings. Now, once I do all that, the apply button down there in the bottom right hand corner enables itself and I apply it so that it globally changes everything because we're not doing it program specific. We're doing it globally. And now all the flickering happens. Um, everything's back to normal. The game has been um, <clears throat> garbage collected, and now we're ready to try and restart again. We're going to start it again this time. As I said, mm -hmm. AFR1. Let's see what happens. <laughs> AFR1. Apparently, my other monitor flickered. This monitor figured seems like we got the game loaded somewhere in memory, but it's not starting up. GPUs are dead. Processes, I go, I see Call of Duty right there in my processes. Of course, it's doing something. Not much on the CPU, not much on the disk, not much on the GPU. So obviously, we got a crash. We're going to have to end that task. I'm going to end that task. Um, I'm at 4 minutes and 40 seconds now. That's AFR1, everybody. I'm going to make another video on uh, AFR2 and see if that works. But now we can clearly see that AFR1 does not work in Call of Duty Warzone if you want to use SLI Envy Link.